legs. Mics are going up. Hey. Check. Hey. Hey, hey, hey. Hey. All right. Hey. He did a lot of uh, jerking around with ever, with his cables, so hopefully... I jerk some cables around. Am I... Uh, is it okay? Sounds good. Okay. Um, uh, I guess... Uh, go ahead. Uh, we're live, right? Come on. Sure. Sorry. You ready? Mics are going up. Oh. Well, who? Who? Hey, 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 hey. hey oh, that it's your be. laptop. <laughs> it's the laptop. Hey, we... No. I think that was me. Oh, see, it wasn't me. All right. All right. Ready? Do I, do I have permission? Go ahead. everybody how you doing i'm greg and welcome to stuck in beta with me is buddy and jovi how you doing buddy oh i don't know that one no that's elf really elf how you hate elf yeah why i think it's stupid oh man this guy i know rude hates everything i hate i hate elf and i hate uh christmas polar express (laughs) Uh, 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 Polar Express. I can, can kind of get behind that, but Elf was, is a fun movie. Man, no, Elf, Elf is, is a fun movie. No. Hmm. How do? You, <laughs> Die Hard. I can under like <laughs> you. You like the angry, like kill people. It's a Christmas, Christmas movie. Well, look, yeah, right. There's a lot of good, you know, like Lethal Weapon. Yeah. Um, Die Hard. Yeah. Gremlins. Iron Man three, yeah, <laughs> <laughs> all Batman, great Batman Christmas. Returns, all great Christmas movies. Huh? Actually, half of those. So Shane Black, he did. Uh, here Lethal we go. Here Weapon. we go with the yeah, weird, I with know. the weird trivia. Here we go. He's the director of uh, Iron Man three, Lethal Weapon, uh, Kiss Kiss Bang Bang, which is great. Robert Downey Jr. movie. I suggest highly suggest it. Kiss kiss. When is, when was that from? Uh, it was before Iron Man. Hmm. It was like when he was making his comeback after um, all the drug rehab. Yeah, things. exactly. And really good movie. Um, but rom com. What are we talking? It's kind of him and um, oh, what's the guy? He was uh, 
damn, why can't I think of his name? He was he was one of the bat bat Batman. Uh, Val Kilmer. That's it. <laughs> wow. How'd you pick that off the? Yeah. So before we get too deep into this conversation, did you even say who we are and what we're doing and where you can find us and all I that sort of thing? Know. It doesn't matter. Know. Our followers know. Yeah. Stuck okay. in beta podcast dot com. We are a podcast where we talk about nonsense, life, food, beer. What are you drinking there? It looks good. This is the uh, same thing you have, oh. so you have wow. the label, probably. Okay, yeah, Yeehaw. this is called Yeehaw. It's a Scotch Ale. You probably like a Scotch Ale. I do love you? a Scotch Ale. I think we tried this on the show at one time. Oh, it made quite an impression. Well, there's another one in there if you'd like one. Velvet Charmer. 9%. <laughs> hey, that's my Woo! nickname. <laughs> it was. What do you mean? Well, that was like... You're- you're no longer you're, a charmer? <laughs> In your single days, right? The sure. Charmer. Yeah. That's, oh, he's got a silver tongue, man. He can... I don't want to talk about his tongue. Char- <laughs> <laughs> where are you going with this? <laughs> I have no idea where I'm going. Hey, guess what, guys? I cleaned what? up the, the yeah, bar the, here. The, the, uh, studio. Studio. Uh, studio. Looks today. great. We have some elbow room now, man. So, so I, for those that can't see us... Yeah, I there was a bunch of wires and crap on fire hazard. It was kind trip of a hazards, fire, trip hazard, safety. fire hazard. Yeah. So yeah. I kind of just hid kind of the fire hazard. Really, if, if there was a fire, we would have all perished because we would God. trip over things. Yeah, there's there. no way out of here. Yeah. So it, anyway, I did a little wire management last night. Ugh, it looks great. Hate I, wire management. I put wires all under the bar instead of across the front. It looks nice. So yeah. um, you. You can't see it if you're watching us. There's and more room for our moonshine. More, yeah. yeah, more room for stuff like that. We like I had the uh, switching the control board. Control board. <laughs> <laughs> I had it sitting right here. I mean, anything could have. Luckily, we didn't have anything spill I, on it. But this uh, is episode 69, and you ne- 68 episodes. We never had anything spill on that thing, which God. is amazing considering yeah. how clumsy all. Well, I don't know that you're that clumsy, I'm, Greg. Greg and I are. I'm very clumsy. Constantly knocking crap over. Yeah, yeah. Because yeah, your arms are so long, <laughs> and he talks. Well, right, I'm the brilliant. same way, and that's why I kept knocking my mic. I know yeah. this iPad's going down before the show is over. Last week, I think I counted. You knocked your microphone over three times. Oh hell! I figured five at least. <laughs> so, it, bring, hey, is it bring your dog to studio day? <laughs> no, they're upstairs, just noisy as hell. Yeah. Molly must be home. So I added, or you're getting robbed. Uh, that too. You know, well, the dog should take care of it, right? Sure. So, that little happy barks. weep weep weep. Yeah. That'll keep away. Mo will eat their face off. So if you are watching the video, we put our Christmas tree. I put our Christmas tree well, up. And I threw some chasing lights, which uh, you can only see portion of that. So, and you all I see Christmas. is blue, huh? It's yeah, uh, blue, are they only blue, blue and white. Blue it changes. White. Oh, okay. So you celebrate Christmas, Greg? I do. What do you I mean, he does. He's Kwanzaa. not Jewish. <laughs> you you said you were Qu- you celebrate. I Kwanzaa. honor Kwanzaa. I also honor Christmas. You, so, uh, what day is Kwanzaa this year? It's a series of days. It's not a single day. <clears throat> I think you're wrong there. I believe no, it's, it's December a... 26th this year. Oh, wow. You know that for a fact? Yes, I wanted to quiz our, <laughs> our uh, Kwanzaa expert. I didn't say I was an expert. You should you're know right. what day it's no. on. Oh, no. wait a minute. You when are you... wrong. That's yes, what day but you should have known to start. I said it was a series of days. He's right about that. Okay, but you didn't even know when it started. You didn't ask me when it started. You said, "What day is it on?" Come on, different questions. Mr. If you Mushan. ask, if you ask a Jewish person what day, what day is Hanukkah on, they would say it's eight well, glorious it, nights. Yeah, but they'd probably <laughs> say it starts on December whatever. I, I, sorry, I don't know that. I just looked up quads. <laughs> it just happened to be on the calendar at work. And, oh, did it really? Yeah. So it didn't have the end date. Interesting. Uh, January 1st is Han- uh, Kwanzaa's end. Hanukkah is the 12th through the 20th of December. What about... There you are. What was that? What's the Festivus? sign? Festivus, yeah. Seinfeld reference is what yeah. I was going to say. And that's I a, could read you. That's a, well, Festivus is that actually... For the rest of us. Saturday. December 23rd. December 23rd this year. Yeah, I thought it was Saturday. a series of days, too. Wasn't it like... Just one day. 
So does that just fall on the Saturday before Christmas or the twenty mm. third? I mean, let me Curse. let me put in twenty eighteen commercial celebration <laughs> in depiction on Seinfeld. Oh, uh, it's always on the twenty third. Twenty third, interesting. Yeah, that is that. Yeah, that's a that's a great episode. Airing the of way. the grievances. Yeah, feats yeah. of strength. Good stuff. Yeah. If you've never seen uh, that Seinfeld episode, check it out. Hey, apparently you can da- you can get all the Seinfeld episodes digitally now. You weren't able to do that before. Really? You know, you were able Jerry to get it. wanted more money? I don't Probably. know. You were able to get it on DVD. You were able to get it on Hulu, but now you can get it hmm. digitally. When you say digitally, what do you mean? Like Google Play, Amazon, oh, okay. iTunes. So you can purchase it digitally. Right. Okay. Right. Oh. I thought you meant that it was on Netflix or something like no, that. No, no. Just Hulu has the rights to play it right now. Interesting. So, uh, so you got some new toys. So, yeah. So, Cyber Monday last week happened, and there were a few uh, deals that I went after. One was a a um, a Hue Philips Hue, which is a bunch of light bulbs hmm. that can change color, and you can um, you can sh- turn them off and on with an app on your phone. Or I can talk to my Google Home and tell it to turn the lights on and off and stuff. And right now, I've only played around with one bulb because I'm trying to figure out what to do with the other three that I have right now. I told him to bring them down here and we'd play with Well, them. Yeah. I think I'm going to end up doing that, but I need to figure out power-wise what to do. <laughs> extension cords. <laughs> More extension cords. You know, every outlet down in this basement has something plugged into it. I, <laughs> More I, than something. There's just one right there. I think that's the only one that isn't in use. I thought you were going to say that was the only one, the only outlet down here. Oh, no. <laughs> it no. powers everything. Why does it look melted? <laughs> yeah. It's got ref- two refrigerators, a freezer. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so. All the show lights. <laughs> yeah. So, anyway. Um, I never mind. It's it's a lot of fun. You tell hey, you turn to blue. There's a uh, you can get a thunderstorm app, which is kind of cool. You, oh, really? You um, you turn it on the sound. I I don't know if there's a way to get it to go through your Google Home speaker, but through your phone, it'll play the sounds of a thunderstorm and your your light. You hear that? Yeah. Oh, Molly Molly's vacuuming. vacuuming. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> so she's listening to the show and yeah, she's she's got her earbuds in. Yeah. I imagine, yeah, probably. So anyway, you hear the storms, uh, sounds of a thunderstorm, and you know oh, the li- no. lamp turns blue to. Well, I just thought of something. What You're I used the storms? I used the restroom before I came down to the studio, and I left the door open. Oh, that I mean? shut the door behind oh, me no. whenever Does I went. You know Molly's what? Molly's cleaning up whatever well, dog's mess. No, my fault. because. So I emptied the trash in there this morning, and I know the only thing in there was a toilet paper roll. Okay. He could have gotten that, but... Oh, shoot. I don't okay. think there was anything else. Sounds like she's sanding. Yeah, it does. She it is. Like yeah. orbital sander. Yeah. Oh, she's she's at work in the baby She probably is. Greg's down here doing this. Yeah. <laughs> sanding the floor. There's, did you know there was hardwood under this carpet? <laughs> <laughs> you know. We don't she's on her carpet. hands and knees sanding with a handheld <laughs> sander. No, 100 square ask. feet of <laughs> hundred square feet of uh, hardwood floor. That's You're a, a jerk. Update. I'm sorry. <laughs> podcast day, you know. Can't interrupt podcasts. So. <laughs> sorry to interrupt your automation talk. So there's that, and I got this other automation thing. So that, the light bulb flashes like lightning then? Yeah, it, yeah it goes white and blinks and hmm. turns blue and dims and... Blue? It, well, yeah. To So I think the whole idea is that you can turn it... Like, it would be perfect for people who are... I th- for me, I sleep really well during thunderstorms, and hmm. you could turn it into different different levels, like a mild storm or something like that. Does it have tornado? It doesn't have that, but um, you can so you can set it next to your bed or whatever. Hmm. If you have a lamp in your bed, it'll just emulate that blue hue from a thunderstorm, and then white but flashes when it's thunder thundering. Hmm. It's so pretty many cool. Questions. So I also got a couple uh, plug outlets. Now, which, these are really intriguing yeah. to me because they're far cheaper than that Philips Hue system. Yeah. Yeah. So I got, and you could use, all these you can use an app or you can um, use your Google Home. 
And now that the Google Home Mini is only thirty bucks, yeah. You know, there's no reason why anyone... You should get one. Yeah, Josh. 30, no, I'll, I'll do it. 30 bucks. I'll do it. So, uh, And if you go to the right place, you get a... Like, you buy one from Target, they got a $10 Target gift card with it. Yeah. Cool. But uh, the cool thing is uh, you go in my living room and tell the Google Home to turn on the Christmas lights or turn off the... And it just... It turns off and on two different outlets. So, hmm. I got a question. It's pretty neat. Can you program those dongles, outlet, plug, whatever you want to call them, individually? Yeah, you can do that, too. So right now I have them, uh, the Google uh, Home is set to Christmas lights as a room. So oh. those two switches are in that room. Okay. So really me saying turn off the Christmas lights is basically saying turn off the lights in this room. Cool. Yeah, so... so but can you still... Like, I could do that, turn off the studio lights, and if we had three lights... Why know, don't we? Wait. I have um, So, since you have them in the in the living room group or Christmas light group, can you still control them individually? Yes. Oh, okay. Yes. Cool. You can... I think I... Can you be members of more than one group? That I... I would... I don't know. That I don't know. I Can have you to, control the group from your phone if you're not home? Yes. Oh, cool. that's cool. I do like that. Yes. Hmm. That's that's one of the cool things because you can you can even set a timer for it to go turn on at certain times. Uh you could say um um well, I know um the hue has a thing like if it's raining, you turn to to this color or that color or you can have it blink when you have a message on your phone. Oh, wow. Really? Things like that. Yeah. Um the the outlets you can um you can you can, uh <laughs> you, we putting you on the spot here. You put me on the spot. So it, it on the um uh, on the little device that you have that plugs in. So it, so I'm I'm assuming I don't know anything about this, but I'm assuming it's a, a, a device that you plug into the wall. Yeah. So yeah, and then you plug and then your, it's like an outlet into that. Yeah, so it's right. almost like an extension cord but like a smaller well, it's this, like a wall wart. This one is more like a wall wart. The one I sent you today. So I found that other one that's 5 bucks. That, yeah. that I would worry I would worry about this one though. I'm going to I got two of them cuz I mean they're mm -hmm. cheap. You just buy an extension cord, hook them together. His disposable income is high, apparently. <laughs> <laughs> He's uh, tech testing here. Tech sure. testing it's until the baby comes budget. and then there yeah. will be no tech test. Right. Yeah. But, you know, then I'll test with this and see what... A lot of these things, I'll work with the program, if this, then that. I IFTT. Oh, yeah. oh okay. Or IFTTT. Yeah, yeah. about that before. So a lot of... You can set a lot of programs, like, if the, if the temperature gets above this, you know, this... Um, temperature. Temperature, turn on this, or, you know, you could do... There's so many different see, recipes. I, I was not impressed with... If this than that, well, whatever I tried. You to need to it. get back with it because there's so much stuff you can do that'll, especially this home automation thing. You can have it simulate a sunrise and you know, huh? If you yeah, for the Philips Hue. So you spent how much was the Philips Hue thing? So it's normally two hundred bucks. It comes with a bridge, four bulbs. I got it for one thirty. And the bridge has to be physically plugged into your network. Yes, and I figured out. Remember how I yeah. said, um. On the back of my little hub or switch that I have, uh, one of the ports is just bad. Because ah. I had my Plex plugged into it later, and it broke the Plex. Hmm. So that was the issue with that. So how many light bulbs, how many Philips Hughes light bulbs can you control off a single bridge? I think it's like 150. Oh, wow. Oh my gosh. Okay. Yeah. But how much are those light bulbs? If you like say white one, white ones are see here's the thing. Um white ones are are like fifteen and the color ones are about fifty. Holy crap. So they're LED, they're supposed to last, you know, the so twenty yours, twenty three years man, and all that. Yours will burn out next week. Yeah, I've I, almost my entire house is on LED bulbs, and I swear it feels like they burn out just as really, quick. really. See, I've never I, had one. Burn I haven't out. Burn, really? had one burn out either. They, now CFLs, those yeah. bastards burn out every other day. It seems like. I don't know if 
if the brand matters, but I just get the the ones at Lowe's that are like on the sure. The, the, yeah, the, I've gotten the real cheap ones too. Yeah, and, and it's like the ones in my kitchen. All of a sudden, they'll start flickering huh. and, they'll, and they'll dim, which is really scary because it'll go like a dim and it'll be super hot to the touch. Really? Yeah, that's kind of scary. And you know, Greg and I went through that fire safety <laughs> course. <laughs> yeah, scared the crap out of us and told us our house was going to burn down. Well, sure. <clears throat> so I'm a little. I'm definitely tech dumb when it comes to this kind of stuff compared to no, you two. Well, you're the you're nice, not, though. Well, all you got to do is try. I, I do want to try it. I was actually talking to my wife, uh, I don't know, a week or so ago, and I said, you know, I want to get, I don't want to be like that guy who just, because I know you this You use a future. switch? <laughs> <laughs> no. No, no, no. Although, I, I mean, there how are, manual. Molly would there, say are, that. I, I'm sure there are certain things that bring efficiency to your home. Like, I do, I am like... Wanting to get a nest or something like that where it can be a little more... Nest is totally worth it. <clears throat> I think that'll probably pay for itself. And yes. you get you get a uh, like a refund check from yeah, Amarin. Amarin. Right. Now, don't they have a cheaper version of the nest that's the newest like a one? a plastic it's, version? Yeah. yeah, they do. It's it's mm. pretty... Ec- I won't say economical, but right. I think it was cheaper. like $100 off on... Cyber Monday, right. yeah, or whatever. it's it's quite a bit cheaper than the regular ones. So with all my Christmas lights, I I have all these this garland with the lights like kind of built into the garland mm-hmm. or the or not really garland. It's uh, what is it the uh, what looks like pine, I guess. Or, yeah, it's still it garland. Yeah, garland. So it goes around all the doorways. Well, each one of them ha- have its own plug, but I didn't want to go around plugging oh. each of those in. Yeah. <clears throat> so we went out and bought all these little timers. It's like a dial. You, yeah. You, Push it in to when you. That's want what our Christmas on. tree lights run on. Those things are so cool. So, and so I got, I got like so five or six of them. Like, I want old technology, yeah. but manual. Uh, oh yeah, physically driven. It's not digital yeah. in any no, manner. It's a all. switch. It's a lever. <laughs> it's if yeah. you get real close. Yeah, yeah, exactly. you can hear yeah. It. So I got everything in the house on those, and it's pretty cool because <laughs> you can't time them precisely, though. So no, you my, can't either. My, my no. tree will come on, and then this garlic string, <laughs> on, and then like five minutes later, that one will come on. And but I mean, they work. Yeah, but see if you got these things that Greg was yeah. the, the thirty dollar things. You could say turn on the Christmas lights, and they all come on. So would I have to have the thirty dollar thing in each yeah. outlet? No, no, no. You yes. Would, well, each of those is like so. I got one in the kitchen, and it's so fun. those I got two of those things for thirty bucks. Oh, I okay. thought each one was thirty dollars. No, oh, 30 hell, bucks. I'll buy that right now. Yeah, oh. I'm doing that now. Okay. <laughs> well, while he's doing that, well, I'll I'll have to find the brand for you. <sighs> You don't know? But this has been our home automation segment. Jeez, we were 20 so, minutes No, on. that's good. No, I think seriously, this though. is very educational and informative. Would you say the Philips Hue is worth it? <clears throat> so, for, right, for $139, is it worth it? Right now, yes. TP-Link smart plug? Is that what you bought? So, the thing is, you can. there's so many things that don't require a hub. Right. And I was under the impression that... Um, the hub would be the something with a fill because Philips Hue is used by everything like um, every uh, Amazon, Google, Apple. It's all, supported all by of them those. support the Hue. If yeah. this and that, so it was one of those things. I'm like, well, I'm gonna get this one. So um, and it. Can you not type your password and talk at the I same can't, time? I can't. <laughs> so, but that's that's been my struggle or my hurdle to this is it is expensive. That Philips Hue, one hundred and thirty nine dollars. You get the bridge and the damn three light bulbs. That's all you get. And so then to add light bulbs is Peckernet. Oh man, we got an infestation again. So there's so many things that you can get that are um, a lot. Just don't require a hub. Sure. That or will bridge, work. Whatever you want to call it. Yeah. What are those called? Smart plug. Smart. Home Q Wi Fi Mini Smart. Plug. Home so Q. these are twenty nine ninety nine. So they're up a couple bucks. No, you said thirty dollars. Yeah, they're I mean they were twenty nine ninety nine. Oh, they're thirty two. Why'd you say No, they were when I got them. Home cube smart plug. Um so at hundred and thirty dollars you you do think the Philips Hue is worth it? I think it is if you want to do all hue light bulbs. 
the, but the, that would be so expensive. The nice thing is you can you can integrate if you use Google Assistant, which if you have an Android phone, um, well, Apple HomeKit does this too, but I think Google Home has a, uh, the Google Assistant, Google Home. It has a lot more capability of all these smaller devices too. So, like even you, Josh, you can just go into your Google. Dumb Josh. Ass- <laughs> you go into your Google Assistant and uh, tell it to turn on the lights or what in whatever room, and it would do it. You wouldn't even need, but you know, you you'd want something like a home or something so your kids and your wife be able to turn on the lights I too. Need, yeah, I need the one that <clears throat> tells my kids to that yells at my kids or or maybe it like do your homework. Them. You can do that with the home. Well, I was going to say, if they leave their light on and they're not in the room, like, it shuts off their phone or <laughs> some sort of penalty. Hey, you left your you left your light on. So their phone just, like, shuts off. That would be great. I don't know about that. There's, I need something like there's that. There's also smart switches you can buy. You can put that in instead of, so you'd be able to control your, your like, just by the light switch. Right. Whatever that light switch controls, mm. you can, so mm. there's a lot to it. It's a lot of fun. I know we spent... It's, the, it's we, the future, right? It's the it's, it's the it's future. Now. It's the present. The future well, is but, now. Yeah, but we're on the we're on the edge of it. Sure. We're not... I mean, it's not like homes are necessarily being built with all of this stuff yet. I don't know. My buddy's building a home right now, and he's a lot of this is going into that. He probably is as a custom... Yeah, it's a custom. But it's yeah, not it's that custom. it's... Yeah. Oh, God. Yeah, for mainstream builders to adopt some of this stuff would be... A while, I think, and for just mainstream, or just for the every average everyday Joe to to get involved. I mean, to get up to speed so, on it. I, to me, it's it's gosh, I'm 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 a little challenged. I don't know. It, so that's the interesting thing. I would be curious the number, the adoption numbers of this. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. What what sales? What Amazon is seeing as sales for Philips Hue, or what? I guess the better judge would be what Philips Hue is seeing as far as sales numbers go for these right. devices. I'm sure it's up drastically from last year because I think the price point from last year is drastically less, right? Like half or something. Um, I don't know. I it'd be interesting to see how many people are really doing this. Mm-hmm. So it's guys, just a bunch of Gregs. <laughs> yeah, I think it's time to move on because uh, we've talked about. Automation for quite you a bit. S- you said there was nothing on the agenda. What, what do you want to talk, talk about, about now? Well, you had some other crap here. So I, it, we already kind of mentioned about Nest, and you know we talked about Nest. Uh, Google, apparently, Google and Amazon are in a giant pissing match. About yeah. what? Okay, so you can't. You Amazon has never sold Google's Chromecast device. Oh, really? They, they right. did until the Echo came out. Okay, oh. and then they are not the it. Echo, the uh, Fire, Fire Stick. Stick, Fire TV, and you have never been able to cast Amazon Prime through the Chromecast, right? And okay, yes, and but they, it's not like that API isn't available, to right? And it wouldn't take anything to do it. Amazon so can do that. What's an API? So it's application. Gosh, why are you gonna oh, ask things? Well, I don't know. You just speak in application. A different language, and I just want what to does the P stand it? for? Um, it's a uh, application programming yeah, interface. There we go. Pecker so it's is what it stands for. Basically, <laughs> it's out there where anyone can use Reusable that programming code. code mm-hmm. Yeah. To so anyone who wants to take their app and make it Chromecast, Chrome Chromecast. Chromecast. Well, I've had a couple shots of this <laughs> Chromecast available. You can do it. They've yeah. got the program, and they've out re- there. they've refused. Yeah, for some reason, Amazon has refused pretty much every streaming app. You know, everything. Yeah, ha- has Chromecast built in. Yeah. So apparently, I didn't know this, but apparently, Amazon pulled the Nest, pro- the new that Nest was product. That was too. the newest thing. Now it must have just happened. Yeah, like I in the last couple days. I remember seeing. it. Black, Black, Black Friday, Friday and Cyber I, Monday, they were on there. I pointed out that hey, the Cy- the Nest Protect or whatever was yeah. was available for cheaper. Yeah, well, they must have just pulled it. Yeah. So then, to kind of I guess touche that, Google has yanked YouTube functionality 
from the Fire Stick Fire TV devices as well as Amazon's new what is it Echo Google Show or oh, no, uh, the Echo, Echo Show, Show that yeah. countertop device. So you can't view well, they haven't pulled it yet. No, a, I thought they did. So it works but on January 1st yeah. it will no longer work. Yeah. So it gives you a message that says <laughs> here, uh, here are the devices that work with yeah, YouTube. Exactly. And, you and know, none of Amazon's streaming devices work with YouTube if and they can't. It's such a weird thing because both are in like a obviously they're hurt as this Verge article that I, I linked. That's the one I read, yeah. They're hurting the consumer, both of them. You know, you know, if you have if you have an Amazon Fire TV and that's all you have, now you can't you're not gonna be able to view YouTube because they're in a pissing match. Right. Like you say. There's no way So and YouTube is you know That's video. If That's you want to watch a, if you want to watch a trailer, I'm sorry, Amazon may have their own and Vimeo. Yeah, the, the, it's just it just makes no sense. Yeah, like just sell your. Obviously, you can. You're a you're a store. You can choose not to sell anything, but if you do that, you're going to have repercussions from that. So, that yeah, that company. Never mind, not going there. Um, <laughs> this isn't the first time, though, tech titans have got in giant fights like this. Didn't Apple and Adobe get in a giant fight Flash, yeah. over Flash? And Adobe's CEO was on Apple's board for a while. Apple decided to stop supporting Flash in their Opera browser. So Adobe's CEO left the board of Apple... It was bizarre. I mean, so this really isn't the first time something like this has happened, but th- these are, I mean, if you if you look at the stock market, two of the most highly valued tech stocks out there, Amazon and Alphabet, and they're fighting with each other. It's just, it's crazy. They both have the market cornered in their respective areas. You know, Google with search and video, I guess, and, and Amazon with shopping. It, it's it's pretty wild. Yeah. But realistically, Amazon shouldn't have pulled... I mean, sell the damn Chromecast and sell the let Nest, them, and then Google... Let them watch YouTube. I understand them not selling the the Chromecast. That competes... Because they don't sell the a- Apple TV, either. It competes oh, really? with their product. But Apple probably wouldn't let them sell it anyway. Does Amazon sell MacBooks? Uh, I believe so. Are you so, sure? Yeah. I don't know. It's it's a whole big thing. It's a whole big thing. It's a whole big thing. Show title. So it's hey, you got some snacks? To. I was gonna say it's five thirty. Is it snacks. beer time? Let's do some beer snacks. snacks. What's oh, what's first? Man, yeah, I don't know. Snacks. Sleep. Snacks time. Oh, this damn thing. I haven't heard the theme song yet I'm for snacks. On this screen is still filthy. waiting on that. Snack time. You bought a snack. I brought the snack this week. Bring the snack back. This is, uh, you know, it's, it's it's the holiday season, as we've talked about. Yes. So, Hanukkah, do and Dickory Dock, uh, and Kwanzaa, get the hang Christmas. Of Christmas. So, this snack, he's, he's like he's I, trying he, really hard to keep this. He's hidden. trying to sell it. He's trying to sell <laughs> it. It's probably like I peppermint am. flavored. <laughs> it's <laughs> gum no, it's paste. No. <laughs> So we were in a bit I of a saw, rush this week. I ran by the local grocery store, Schnooks, and saw this on an end cap. not a sponsor. And it had a... End cap's where you find all the good yeah. stuff. Yeah. Well, it was the new. Greg, we've talked about this yeah. many times. Greg loves things that say new. So this has the word new on it. It also has red and green sprinkles on it because... Oh. Is this Little Debbie's? Christmas. Close. It's Intamin's. Oh. Yeah, which is... A fancier version of Little Debbie's, right? <laughs> oh, yeah. Come on. Okay. <laughs> what was it on Seinfeld about intimates? <laughs> oh, they have their own place in the, on the end of the aisle. <laughs> That's right. That's yeah, right. that used to be their slogan, wasn't yeah. it? So. Oh. Oh, I didn't we know. We have. Look at this. This, this is, is a total ripoff. Uh, oh, I, 
<laughs> of what? <laughs> Little Debbie's ho ho. That's exactly what I thought whenever I saw it. So it's a ding dong. It yeah, ding dongs. Yeah, yeah, it looks like a ding dong. <laughs> <laughs> Now there's that's a show, show title. title. <laughs> <laughs> looks like a ding dong. Hey, that looks like a ding dong. It's got red and green sprinkles on top. Why would you do that to a ding dong? But it's called eight chocolate cream filled cupcakes. That's like the generic version. So of is ding it dong. like uh, it's not it's called that? It's chocolate cream filled cupcakes. <laughs> yes, it's it not is. Like eight. But it's not like eight is part of it. <laughs> it's not like a Hanukkah okay, thing. Right. Maybe it is a Hanukkah, Maybe it is a Hanukkah yeah. thing. Yeah. <laughs> so it's beautiful packaging. You can actually see into the box and see yeah. what the, the little the actual... No, Little Debbie's doesn't do that. <laughs> yeah, no, they don't. This is weird. It has a little little snow uh, covered cottage. Snow covered cottage there with some some trees that are covered in snow. Surprised there's not Santa. We're well, explaining Santa's this a lot. You're, t- Santa. you're really overselling this. Santa's probably copywritten. You can't do that. All right. Oh, oh, I thought oh. it was two per, but it's they're it's small. Okay. That's a little ding dong. <laughs> is it All a right. double decker? No, no it's a little no, fatter than a ding dong. Because <laughs> it ding dongs have like a perfect hockey puck shape. Yeah, yeah. yeah. this is more of a it's more of a cupcake, like a okay. flat flat cupcake, like a yeah. cupcake that didn't rise completely. And it, yeah, and it's got the chocolate on. Ch- chocolate icing on top. That's a ding dong in your mouth. <laughs> Red and green. Oh. Ding dong has chocolate all the way around. This is just put that in your mouth. That that's a ding dong. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe that should be the I show title. I don't know, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know why you're laughing. <laughs> <laughs> put that in your mouth. That's a ding dong. It's delicious. That's really I good. Mean, mm-hmm. Yeah, that's a ding dong. Can you fit a whole ding dong in your mouth? No, I don't think so. <laughs> <laughs> you you're you're wanting to say something. <laughs> so have you ever been to hostess? <clears throat> well, okay. I love my eight chocolate filled cream what is it? Eight eight chocolate eight cream filled. so Cupcakes. there there used to be uh, those hosted before yeah, hostess the, went under yeah the, the factory outlet place yeah where yeah, you get stuff, we went there every week you get every them, week my gets, son was addicted to the um, where oh, was there one local besides uh, South one County? right by Sam's oh was there really yeah so you get a lot of cheap uh, snack cakes and all their all their stuff yeah it was great like it was expiring in three days but yeah like. Yeah. Probably, I guess your kids would finish <coughs> oh, a twelve yeah. pack of something. Um, that stuff would live through a nuclear war. However, sometimes it was like you'd get a different market because the ding dongs sometimes would say King Don's. Really? Yeah, and I'm wondering if like. Oh yeah, you should Google it. Well, look, yeah, King look. Don, King Don's. See, ding. There you go. It's the Ding Dong box. Isn't that Ding Dong? It's a Ding Dong box, except it says King Don's. Interesting. I wonder what market that was. It's almost like some places found it, oh, this is too racy to call it a Ding Dong, you know. We'll have to call it. Well, why would Why would it be racy to call it Ding Dong? Well, and they're, and they're like, uh, we'll just change the K and the G, you know. Huh. Huh. I don't know. Are you... Insinuating there's some sort of double entendre? Well, no. No. Okay. Boy, you eat your ding-dong slow. Yeah, he does. I mean... He savors it. Cream-filled cupcake. <laughs> he likes well, I'm talking more than you guys. He likes the oh. cream. <laughs> he likes to savor it. From the ding-dong? Yeah. Or yeah. Oh, eight, oh, his cream-filled... Eight, eight chocolate cream-filled cupcakes cupcake. All right, it's beer 30. Here we go. That's good, Greg. What is this? So today, we have from Terrapin out of uh, Athens, Georgia. I've been there. To Athens, Georgia. Oh, I thought you were going to say you've been to Terrapin. No, I didn't go to Terrapin. We, there was a neat little brew pub in Athens, Georgia. Can't, uh, the Brick Store. We have... Really cool. It says WNB, Coffee Oatmeal Imperial Stout. Got and have turtle. It's on got the, the, front. the turtle cooking some uh, yeah. 
That's their cookies. That's their yep. thing. Is the turtle? We talked last time. Wasn't it just last week that we talked about AB owns Terrapin now? I don't know. Do they? And Heiser Bush. I think they do. And has a bush. So that segues. We'll, we'll talk about the beer, but that segues to another topic we have. Oh, good segue, Josh. I, why five you? points? Five podcast <laughs> points to you. <laughs> you win this this Man, show. This has got a. This has a unique aroma. Does it? In my opinion, I don't smell anything. Don't hey, it's got. It says. It. Oh, very, I, I, let me let me tell you a little bit. Two Athens, Georgia companies, Terrapin. And Jittery Joe's have teamed up to create a unique blend of coffee used to produce this robust and flavorful beer. So when it comes to a morning beverage, why not beer? <laughs> if you're an alcoholic, sure. I, yeah, sometimes. That's not a fair statement. Why can't you drink a beer in the morning? Be- Just to drink a beer in the morning. Because five-sevenths of the week you go to work. Maybe you don't. Maybe you work from six at night okay. until... Okay, but is, is that really your morning then? Because I, thought, I, thought you, I thought he listed a specific time of day. No, he said morning, didn't he? Morning. But uh, it's still morning. I believe I said morning. Everybody has a... Or, we, the morning is no, it does, a yeah, time morning of day. I, but if you work night shift, you wake up and it's your morning. So if it's no, would you have breakfast? Morning. Would you have breakfast? So if you work the night shift, you're getting know. off work. I've never done that before. If you I get off, either. if you get off I've work at six a.m. Shift work though. You get yeah. off work six a.m. Right. Yeah. You're like, man, that was a hard day at work. Yeah. I need a beer. I have several friends that work at the I've, can plant in Arnold, and they get yeah. the tall boy from the gas station. Yeah. And they said they get the weirdest looks ever uh, because they're drinking that on the way home. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, why at 6 a.m. A road at soda? 6 a.m. Yeah. <laughs> road soda. <laughs> yeah. Um, so it says uh, Terrapin Beer is selling, sold out to Miller Coors. Oh. oh. Huh. So Miller Coors. Okay, aren't deduct they, three podcast points nah. from Josh. Sorry. So I'm, I'm kind of confused. Like, there's a whole lot of stuff to read during a show. But Get rid of your emoticon, would you? Oh, man. Hmm. It's really bothering It him. is. I'm trying to see if we have people talking to us. Probably not. Oh, hell. What's Pate want? Oh, it was a while ago when we were talking about the home automation. Oh, shut up, Pate. <laughs> Bow. Take that. Hey, guys. Pate, we should have Pate on the show. Well, we have an extra mic. Pate can call. He lives well, in New Madrid. Oh. So he talks like this. Hmm. He's got a great southern draw. What's wrong with that? Hey, Nothing. I'm, if you're listening still, we can arrange this. Yes. I'm the producer. Yeah, o- over um, yeah, over uh, Skype or whatever. Oh, I'll just Google give you a great cell phone number. Or that. <laughs> <laughs> Why are you going to make it complicated? <laughs> so, go ahead. What were you saying about Terrapin Ryan Miller? Uh, it says Miller Coors, but wasn't Miller Coors, they, they don't own Miller Coors in the U.S., but they own them everywhere else, or... I'd have to look all this information up. I don't, you know. This isn't some of the random knowledge that you have in your head? Uh, no. Man, Sorry. I'm really surprised. I, this is a really good beer, though. Do you guys like it? It's okay. It's, I don't know, it's kind of unique. I like I last okay. week's beer way better. Yes. Oh, because you brought it in? Yeah. Well, that beer was great. That was a great beer. And, uh, and I, you know what? I, I a bottle at my house. I read a number of reviews that said it was way better than 16 and 15. Oh, and Craig has 15. Oh, but. It's aging, though. But. Yeah, it's been aging. I wonder how long you can age that. It said five years. In the oh, bottle, did it? Remember? Okay. Yeah. I, yeah, I thought we talked about that. He's got it up there in the wine, in the wine well, cellar. He, beer cellar. He ages all of his beer five years, doesn't he? Probably. Yeah. So, guys. Uh-oh. You want some Christmas trivia? Holiday Absolutely. trivia? Festive trivia quiz. Cue that theme music. All right. Jingle bells, jingle bells. <laughs> okay, we have festive trivia. Do you want Christmas tree, snowman? Scroll back up on the... Uh, snowman. Rain, snowman. Reindeer or... Okay, snowman. Jeez, I don't know what these oh, are. I didn't realize that was pinned. Okay. Elf or Santa. Uh, okay, you already said snowman. Let's go with that. What is the name of the cake traditionally eaten in Italy at Christmas? Tiramisu. 
Wrong. It is whatever that word is. <laughs> uh, Panettone? I think I've heard Giada. That is I, ridiculous. I think I've heard Giada say that. Uh. All right, what you want? What you uh, want? Christmas what? tree, <laughs> Santa, <laughs> reindeer, the- elf, or Santa? He wants a ding dong. <laughs> Christmas tree. And these pecker nets to go away. Well, I Are tried. the new ones at the top or the bottom? Okay, this one should bottom. be easy. What is Christmas called in France? Christmas? Mm-hmm. Noel. Mm-hmm. Oh, this guy has got it. I know. I know. Oh, man. I'm, fr- I'm part French. Hmm. Do you know that... Here we go. A severed foot is the perfect stocking suffer. <laughs> <laughs> I can't take credit for that. That's, Your dad? That's good. No, that's that a was dad joke. Some comedian. I think it was uh, <laughs> the dude with the glasses. Or uh, Mitch Hedberg. Oh, I was I was going there. Mitch Hedberg. I, it was taking me. Reindeer. A while. All right, reindeer. Here we go. Reindeer. Name the reindeer whose name begins with B. Blitzen. Bang, Boom. dude! You are killing it. Fire. I think he's looking at you like he wants you to play again. Uh, Tell me when you're bored Santa with this. Santa over there. Okay. Whenever you're bored with this, we can stop. What is the name of the film where the song Walked in the Air is featured? What? What? Walked in the Air? <laughs> you get the hardest ones. <laughs> no kidding. It's the snowman. No, Let me try a different one. Panatoni was harder than that. Sure. Okay, here's a good one. How many gifts would you receive if you received all the gifts in the song The 12 Days of Christmas? Okay, this is a ridiculous question because, okay, it's 12 Who plus has 11 that kind of plus money? 10 plus 9 plus 8. It's crazy. Yes, but you have to go every time. Oh, it's shit. one, oh, then one and two, then one, two, and three, then one, two, is three, it? and four, then. And yes. it's three of that thing on that third. Day and four of that thing on that fourth day, and then it's so twelve oh times one, gosh, eleven times two, right? Plus, <laughs> no and then you add them all together. Can we do an over under? Oh hell, sure, sure. Uh, three thousand. Oh, okay. You uh, you wait. I'm way over. way over. <laughs> oh, okay. Hundred and twenty. Way under. What is it? Well, not, not way under. 364. Mm. Ah, jeez. Interesting. I wonder if there's any correlation there to the number of days in a year. I think mm. it just happens to be the math. Um, uh, I don't know. I don't think they even thought of that. So do we want to talk about AB's cease and desist? Let's do it. Letter. So can I, while we're okay, talking go ahead, about Go ahead, trivia. interrupt. Oh, well, okay, there's two things. Hey. We'll do movies. Ding, ding, ding. Okay, uh... Ding, ding, ding. So the wall. Have you ever got? Have you guys ever watched the the show The Wall? The one no, we're building there in Mexico. It. Uh, no, it's <laughs> it's the uh, Chris that is a funny Chris, show Chris Hardwick <laughs> show where it's basically a big giant plinko board and they throw yes, balls. Oh, I, have I haven't watched, watched it. that. It looks that is stupid. Fun. It's a yeah. it's a fun show. This it's guy doesn't like elves, so we can't really. It's sometimes it's hard to find shows that you can watch with young kids, and that's every once in a while you're flipping through the channels and you're like, oh, there's a game show on it, like seven or yeah. Eight. Until Five you realize eight. all those game shows are rigged. Oh, so fine. I, I really don't know about that because so they had a Christmas edition deck the wall or whatever. Bum 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 bum. <laughs> This, so I don't, if you n- know the wall, you throw balls down this little uh, chute and they bump around and you try and get them in the different slots to win money. But you also have, you have green balls that win you money, red balls that lose you money. What about blue balls? I don't know about that. That's so once every three months they have those. So they... They also, so they take, there's two people. One person goes backstage, one goes up front. They give the answers to the question, okay? So the answers were a rainbow, a bell rings. Okay, just, you know these are all Christmas thing, yeah. themed. A rainbow, a bell rings, and someone says, I love you. 
Okay. All right. So, with me as a game show dork, movie game freak. show do- dork and <laughs> movie freak, I when I immediately hear a, an angel or a, a bell rings and yeah. a Christmas, what do you think of? Yeah, it's a wonderful, wonderful life. life. Wonderful life. And well, where's Rainbow fit into that? Just these were the answers, the A, B, or C. Okay, so the person has to go, okay, I want to put them in a slot that's over the million dollars, or I want to put it over the slot over the one dollar. Okay, so it may bounce over. So she's like, oh, my daughter's got to know that, you know. So she. Why does she have that accent? So she went to the daughter, and the daughter was like, not. Mm, I don't remember ever seeing Wonderful Life. I'm like, how have you never heard that one phrase of It's Wonderful? Even if you haven't seen that movie, you've seen yeah. every time a bell rings, yeah. an angel gets its wings. Yeah. How is that possible? So she says, everyone says, I love you. He is really angry. He's judgy. Well, it was a thing like that. And there was another question. What, what movie um, of these four movies... Which movie does not appear during Christmas? It was Die Hard, Gremlins. Uh, you mean mo- Christmas isn't in the movie? Yes. Okay. Die Hard, Gremlins, Breakfast Club, oh. and uh, there was one more, but I can't remember the other one. Because it, it's got to be Breakfast Club. Yeah, be, right. She, yeah, of course. Uh, she goes, Die Hard. I don't think that... What? I'm like, what is wrong with this person? Oh, gosh. So anyway, it, Rigged, it really huh? bothered me how bad this person played this game. Interesting. So I'm anyway, glad, glad and I did. went to the movies again. Went to Ronnie's again. Enjoy. Hey, Gosh, you're addicted now. Did, Weekly. Did I tell you? Okay. Did you get the monthly pass? No, but I need to. Remember how I told you about the uh, Pepsi? Uh, yeah. The mixer machine. It's right. like the Coke uh, freestyle. Dr Pepper is also in there. Oh. So you can mix stuff with Dr. Pepper, he's Dr. He Pepper, vanilla, off cherry. His cherry. He was so excited. So this is two weeks in a row. He's been yes. so excited yeah. about the theater that he doesn't yeah. want to talk about the movie that he went. We to. saw the movie Wonder, <laughs> and it's actually an excellent movie. Yeah, and then Jackson saw that. Very good movie. Very Did you good. Cry. Movie. Really, the the <laughs> most. There, I'm not gonna. I'll spoil it. I don't want to spoil it, but there is a few. Obviously, you see it, and you you see the trailer, and you know there's going to be some tear jerking moments. But uh, it's the pregnancy hormones. It's okay. Shh, yeah, I don't know a whole lot about it, but my son brought home the book yesterday. Yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah. A lot and, of schools uh, read it. Yeah. So I started reading it. I read. I was about four chapters in. I really think every kid should see this movie. That's <laughs> then it said the same thing. I think uh, it really tells. It, it's a lot of. Telling people that, okay, people are different, but just because they may look different, they may be really cool, you know? Yeah. So, there you go. Public service so, now. Now, 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 can we talk about AB and their... Let's you do can it. talk about AB. They found their sense of humor. AB did? Yeah. Yeah. So, so you know, they've got that stu- really stupid commercial, that dilly dilly... Commercial. It's like I'm not a, familiar with that one. It's a Bud Light commercial, and it's set in the medieval days. And the the catchphrase in there, like the instead of huzzah, they all say dilly dilly. Really stupid. I mean, <laughs> so dilly dilly has now been this catchphrase that a lot of college campuses, a lot of frats are using. A lot. It's just a stupid okay. catchphrase. So now they're doing this. No, 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 no. Stop. So oh, there's oh. a there's a brewery that made a double IPA, and they called it dilly dilly. Okay, and I guess they publicized that they've they've got this upcoming release of Dilly Dilly, their beer, and it's it's not an AB. This is not a AB brewery. This was a craft brewery. I forget where it is, but on on release day of Dilly Dilly, their their double IPA, M- Modest Brewing, Modest Brewing. Yes, I think it's in Ohio. That sounds familiar. Minnesota, Minnesota. That's close. Um, in. Like, the second they open the doors, in walks this dude in medieval clothing with a scroll. Turns out he's from AB. Hmm. And it's a cease and desist letter. Hit play. 
Well, you, you have know, to turn it on if you're... I hope you guys can hear this. Why not just play it on the laptop? Can we put it through the laptop so we can hear it? Who's recording this, I wonder? Some patron in the brewery, apparently. Huh. It's a long... It's a long letter. I guess we can't put it on the laptop. I guess Okay, not. but... Technical it, difficulties. I believe it's going through the speakers right now. Um, hmm. But we can't hear it's it. It's coming on the TV. So, anyway, um, sorry if you could not hear that. Basically, a guy comes in with uh, medieval... What do you call that? I clo- said clothes. Yeah. <laughs> I said uh, clothes. <clears throat> what do you and call? he's got the uh, British, British and, accent yeah. scroll saying, Hear ye, hear ye. You know, basically By order of the king. Saying, saying that you can only do this for a limited time, only run. More or less was, saying, don't do it again. Yeah, don't mm. do it again. Said, dilly dilly is part of our realm. Wow. So, no, I've never seen. I don't, I don't know I, what you're talking I don't about. either. Hey, you seriously? No, I don't. No. There's like a whole. Remember when AB did the whole. Ah, stupid. Yeah. I remember the, that. I think Dilly so, Dilly was a Super Bowl commercial oh this my last gosh, year. It's like, yeah, I'm not familiar I, with that, that at all. That is not. Is oh, there shit. something. Can you see anything over there to the right that's like. Maybe like what he's referring to, and you YouTube mean? there. Oh, uh, no. Oh uh, yeah, the bottom one there. Scroll down. Dilly Greg. dilly Bud Light commercial. All right. Jeez. Oh, oh my gosh, she doesn't know how to work a mi- uh, mouse. Apparently I'm, not. Oh, I just. <laughs> We're not gonna be able to hear it. <laughs> yeah. I vaguely. Remember I've never that. seen these dilly dilly commercials. Uh, what year is this from? Last year. What? Yeah, this is like their recent... I've never seen these. <laughs> that is crazy. So they make fun of this guy for bringing a single bottle, uh, spiced blah blah blah, and they throw yeah. him in the dungeon. Please follow Sir Brad. He's going to give you a private tour of the <laughs> Huh. Dilly dilly, dilly dilly. Man, I've, I yeah, I've, I don't think I've I'm ever a, seen that. Yeah, I've never seen that commercial, mm-hmm. and mm-hmm. like I'd rather have his spice bullshit <laughs> than Bud Light. Um, to yeah, be honest so with you. I I I thought it was funny that AB found their sense of humor on this, and I guess and maybe someone, they think they're funny, but I don't think. But it's that why funny. is this microbrewery that nobody's ever heard of getting a I mean, okay. So if it's if it's truly just a joke, that's no. One it's thing. not a joke. That's what I'm saying. If it's, it's not legit. a joke. That's kind of that's a dilly dick move. Dilly is, like why dilly you... dilly is copyrighted? Yeah, I know. Apparently. That's why? what I was gonna it's say. It's just in this stupid commercial. Huh. I guarantee you, they that's have like, copyright on that. That's, that's like crazy. Trump trying to copyright. You're fired. Well, it's no, not... that's like Paris Hilton saying she got a copyright on it's hot or whatever it was. Yeah. That's see, ridiculous. lawyers suck, and I'm done with them. I'm done with <laughs> lawyers. You've been busy with lawyers. I've up been until now. very busy with lawyers. But, I, I, but what are, what's what's going on with lawyers and you? Now, now? wait a minute. You know what? You're done. You know what? <laughs> Dairy Queen should sue Bud Light because well, they're, they're the dilly home of the dilly bar. They're home of the yeah. dilly bar. They go, hey, dilly bar, dilly bar. you're going to confuse <laughs> our folks with... Yes, that's yeah. the first thing that I thought of. That's probably why our, dilly, our Dairy Queen closed. Is the people were confused. What but is going on with that? Yeah, off show discussion. No, I want to know now. They, they closed. <laughs> he can't tell us the oh, dirt. He so. knows. No, he I knows. don't know. I've oh. heard stories. That's why he said that blew my discussion. mind. Like what small yeah. town? Okay, we live in a small, or you guys live in a small 10, town. People. I'm right outside. Twenty-five small town. million. When you say uh, small town, I mean, what, the Hillsboro. Well, you gotta <laughs> include. Look, I know. I'm saying small town though. It's not like it's a, a, a metropolis or, no. or, or, or whatever. Or but, Gotham. 
our other right. uh, comic book <laughs> there <cities>. are no <laughs> superheroes in this area You're right uh <clears throat> and the only right it's hey, the I guess only dairy queen is no. closing no, her- yeah, it's herculaneum closing. Yeah. in the area yeah Her- like, how does that happen Herky and hillsboro two smaller towns by quite a bit keep their dairy queens Actually, this was in Crystal, How? so it doesn't... That, I love that gooey cheese. Mind blown. I don't understand. There's got to be something The gooey specific. cheese that they use on the french fries is delicious. Specific yeah, going on. I guess we're going to have to hear... Man, I tell you what. The rumors after the show. I, I tell had, you what. I had some gooey cheese on cheese fries up at Seamus McDaniel's this weekend. Whole, I didn't know they had this. Seamus is good. They have cheese dip for their fries. I did not know. And it's a mix of Provel and American... Holy crap, that was good. Hey, I need to talk to you about good places to go for Christmas Eve dinner. I don't know. Dude. I don't for, go anywhere for You Christmas know people. Eve. I don't know. Okay, anyway, what that's an after right share. Here. Hey, guys. Huh? Oh, um, we ha- are to yeah. the end of our show. Yep. I'd have to say this is one of our uh, uh, more... Uh, Serious shows. Serious? Yeah. All we did is talk about uh, home automate and ding dongs. Yeah, it was totally serious. Don't automate your ding dongs. <laughs> so guys, automated ding dong, automated, battery powered, <laughs> battery powered. Every week, check us out um, on Facebook. Uh, you could find the links on stuckinbetapodcast dot com. Subscribe on iTunes, Google Play, and Stitcher. Got anything else to say? No, I, no. I had one interesting news topic. That what we is just, like totally? Let's, skipped let's over. do no, it. No, let, let's let's, let's go do on. it. We Save got it two minutes. Week. Come on. There was a post on. Let's go back. The paste. dot com, pastemagazine. dot com. They did the top ten breweries of twenty seventeen, and our local. Uh, perennial brewing was was among the yeah. listed top ten, which is not really a surprise because they are so but eccentric. They're known for a Braxis. Yeah, they're known for a Braxis, <laughs> but it did list all of their a lot of their other uh, pretty uh, I, impressive brews. I like their beers. I think a lot of their uh, they have some good beers. Their scarcity is manufactured. Wouldn't you agree? I yeah, see that. talked about that. But then again, that's okay. Because look, look you can you can be let's get serious. you can be a small brewery like Perennial really is, and maybe they only make um a couple tanks full of Abraxas and that's all they're gonna do for the year. Because they can charge twenty dollars for they it. They can right? do more, but obviously they do have other beers that they do. And they got uh, isn't uh, Abraxas barrel age too? Yeah. yeah. Well, so, the, I mean, no, there's a version of it that's barrel aged. So yeah. I mean, there is a little bit of scarcity to obviously barrel age stuff because it takes a lot of time. So you can't make that many. That's why a lot of um, their side pro- side project yeah. brewing, they're all barrel aged, and they're all sours. A lot of them are soured, and they. It takes a lot of time to make those, so I understand the reason for the scar- scarcity of those. I think half of it is so they can have a line out front. Yeah, yeah, I guess so, but I think it's just become popular, and uh, it. you know what? If you've ever stand in, have stood in a line waiting for a side project release or perennial release, it's a fun time. <laughs> I still say that pumpkin pie beer... Or not pecan, pumpkin, pie. pecan pie that we had at Perennial that was a like a one-off taster or test. Yeah, every or, Thursday they have something, don't they? Holy yeah. crap. That was one of the best beers I've ever had. Yeah. Let's go tomorrow. I don't think they've ever done it again. Uh, they'll do something tomorrow. What do they do tomorrow? All right. Uh, Anything else, Mr. Epley? No, I don't. Well, it's been a show, and uh, here's the thing. Where to find us? iTunes, Google Play, Stitcher, StuckInBetaPodcast.com. Um... Have a have a wonderful beginning of the month. <laughs>